Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Interactive, where I give you the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history in chronological order, and then you put them in your own top five order in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling nerd on. Starting off as we always do in chronological order, 1935. Ethel Johnson is born. Debuting at age 16, she became the first African-American women's champion. She was a fan favorite billed as the biggest attraction to hit girl wrestling since girl wrestling began. 20 years later in 1955, Leon Allen White is born, better known by his ring name, Big Van Vader. He was an American professional wrestler and professional football player. Throughout his career, he performed in New Japan Pro Wrestling, WCW, the WWF, and All Japan Pro Wrestling, as well as Pro Wrestling NOAA, from the 1990s into the 2000s. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest super heavyweights of all time. Five years later, in 1960, Steve Williams is born. Better known as Dr. Death Steve Williams, he was a professional wrestler, collegiate football player, and amateur wrestler. He is best known for his time in All Japan Pro Wrestling through the 90s and early 2000s. He is also a former UWF World Champion. 1990, Ole Anderson is named the booker of WCW, replacing Ric Flair, who resigned from the position, citing continued difficulties trying to run the creative end of the company, which had seen an amazing 1989 in an in-ring standpoint, underneath WCW Vice President Jim Hurd. And last, but certainly not least, 1993, the very first show ever held at the ECW Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, takes place. It was the first of two consecutive days of television tapings for ECW. And those were your top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. What's your top five look like? I look forward to finding out in the comments below. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.